What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the sh show channel. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in once again for another episode or two episodes of The Last Kingdom. We're close to the end. Today, we're going to be doing seven and eight, and then the two final episodes comes tomorrow. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys. I really do. You guys are awesome. You guys are great. What more can I say? What more can I say? All the adjectives that mean something perfect or good. It belongs to y'all. All I can say. Anyways, The Last Kingdom. We are on our way back to confront King Edward and his... Um, foolishness all these decisions that he's been making wrong and i understand he's a young king so as i said i'm still giving him the benefit of the doubt i'm not gonna come down as hard on him as i did with king halfred but he is definitely doing things that i don't particularly like he's making bad decisions and you can you know what i'm saying you can say it's because he's young you can say all these things, but in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, if you're going to sit on the throne, you got to have the boss sit on the throne. And I really did thought after season three that he was going to be a better king than this. I really thought so, but he really disappointed me. I'm not going to lie. He lets um, Aethelhelm whisper in his ear too much. And, you know, if it's one thing Alfred was trying to teach him before he died was... You got to learn to make decisions for yourself and not let people be undermining you and, and and stuff like that. You see, all of this is a trickle down. It's a trickle from him dismissing Uhtred's help from, well, dismissing helping Uhtred. You know what I'm saying? It would have set him up in a better position. Uhtred would have more, more than come to his aid. You get what I'm saying? And instead of understanding the value of who Uhtred is, he turned away from him. Let me bring my camera down a little bit. I hate this because I'm sitting. When I'm sitting normally, I want my chin to be in the picture, you know? So, it's just crazy. It's it, it's just to the point where I'm just wondering, what is his agenda here? What is he, what, you know what I'm saying? And... Also, talking about him is like Elswith. I'm really liking Elswith this season. I'm not going to lie. I'm really liking her character this season. First three season, absolute, not not a character I liked. Still one of the best written characters in the show. And she has a better role in the show than Brita. Yes, I've said Brita's character is kind of could have been done without until the end of season three where they got their revenge on Ethelwald and all of this other stuff the reunion with her and Uhtred is always good and I think Uhtred her interactions with Uhtred is what makes the show so what makes her character important if they're not interacting she's just like a, a, a another character in the show that nobody really pays attention to I mean in my opinion as I said, there's so many characters that I like over her. So many. She's like probably last on the list of characters that I really rock with. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm just here. I'm just here enjoying the show. You guys might think differently. I don't know. But here we go. Let's see if Uhtred gets back to Edward to get to talk to him. What will they do? What will they do? I mean, the dude betrothed a, a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he doing? What is King Edward doing, man? Let's go find out. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all, man. See you guys for the review. All right, so... Season 4, Episode 7 and 8. Very well done. Very well done. Um... Very dialogue heavy, no fighting really. The whales, they lost. Looks like their old Kai kingdom is dead now, because I mean, um, dude is dead. 
Um, Wales, the dude, the king, seems like he's dead because he didn't survive unless he escaped. I don't know. Um, but in any case, they're weak. They're weak. The Danes take over. And now they're, they're about to go attack Winchester because um, now they have information that freaking Edward is not there. They're weak. Um, let's see if it's the same situation. Do they have, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they get word that the Danes are coming and that they don't end up losing um, freaking Winchester again because they that happened with Alfred and they had to go and take it back. So hopefully that's not the case again. Um, all right, let me talk about my one gripe. And that's probably going to drop the rating for this season because it's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to happen. It is not only impossible or not right for them to show a woman in breeder state doing what she does. I don't like it. I don't like seeing it. And you guys, see, if you've been around long enough, you saw how distasteful, you know, it is in Vikings. I don't like seeing it. I don't like seeing pregnant women fighting, man. That shit is stupid. Nobody. And I get it. You can't tell women what to do. I get it. But she literally overpowered somebody in the village. Overpowered some... Bruh. Do you know how awkward it is for, for, for pregnant women? They can't even swing their arms properly. That's how bad it is. But she's out here full on fighting with dudes on a full fight, fall on her belly and just pop right back up like nothing happened. Come on, man. Come on, man. We, we got to do better. We got to do better. I don't care if it's back in the day. I don't know what the tradition is about with Vikings, with pregnant women fighting and all that. I don't know if they think if they don't fight, the baby is going to come out not a Dane. Or whatever, not going to be strong enough. It's probably something in the terms of that. I'm just saying, in terms of that, just that one fight right there. You get what I'm saying? Just that one fight, how she just pop right back up. Like, a pregnant woman falls. It's a problem, bro. Okay? It's a problem. It's a day. It's like old people. Okay? It's not just... Oh, for, oh, and then you can pop up back like, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing happened. Like it just, it doesn't work like that. I didn't like that. And, and me holding this show in such a high regard, that was a letdown for me. And I'm not saying that it's going to, you know, it drop like two, three points off the season for that, but I am going to take some points out. They're going to have to really pull up with them two final episodes for me to really get still give this season a 10 out of 10 i'm dropping points for that i don't like when unrealistic shit happens in tv shows man i hate it you guys know this i don't like seeing it and i will drop points for that because you can't tell me that somebody think that shit was okay Somebody okay that to be to be shot like that and be like oh they're just gonna they're gonna they're just gonna be like oh she's so strong bro nah it's unrealistic. Just like how I drop just like how I drop points in season 1 for them making Uhtred look like some sort of freaking superhero and <laughs> but then they kind of plugged it. They plugged that kind of, that that gripe I had, right? They plugged it so I forgave them. You know what I'm saying? But I still have to look at the show with a critical high critical eye because I give it a rating. At the end of the season, so I still have to look with a critical eye. If 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 I was just fanboying over the over the over the series, I would give every season ten out of ten. It's worth that much. I enjoyed the show that much. But because I'm looking at it from a critical eye, I have to look at everything from an objective point of view at the end of the season. And I know for a fact that I'm going to remember that because you know what I'm saying. Like I don't care what era you're in, pregnancy is pregnancy. I don't care what area, and it's worse. Now they have so many things that help women through pregnancy and childbirth. Before, they didn't have nothing. Nothing. She literally fell on her stomach, guys. But let me stop talking about it. You already know. We dropping points for that at the end of the season. Hopefully, I remember. 
But in any case, as I said, the two final episodes got to be off the chain for me to still give this season a 10 out of 10 right now. And it's not going to drop dramatically. I'm just saying it's going to drop. It's not right now. It was a 10 out of 10 until I saw that happen. It was a 10 out of 10 until that happened. I'm just saying. But in any case, Ethelfled is now queen of Mercia. Great. I'm all for it. Um, it's just sad to see that she and Uhtred has to break up, but I believe that Uhtred is going to end up with Edith. Um, but that's just me. That's just me. I want them to be together because of what Ethelfled did by, by kind of banishing her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to punish you too harsh. I'm just going to send it to a nunnery. Oh, oh yeah. It's great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but I think she's going to end up with somebody in the group. I don't know if it's going to be... Um, it might actually end, it, it might be, I wouldn't have no problem if, you know, if anybody in the group and en ended up with her. Um, it seemed like she liked, um, Alfred's bastard son. I still don't know what his name is. I can't remember his name, um, right now. I know his name. It's on the top tip of my tongue. I just, just can't seem to remember what his name is. It's not Roger. It's not Roger. It's not Roger. Is it Roger? No, his name is not no Roger. I just can't remember. Oh my god. Uh, if I see his name, I'll remember his name. Osford. Yeah, Osford is his name. Right? So. If she ends up with Osford, everything, I'll be cool with it. But I would like to see him. I would preferably, 100%, rather she end up with Uhtred. You know what I'm saying? Um, because Ethelfled, I think she did that for her own personal reasons. That had nothing to do with, you know, the other people seeing her as weak or whatever excuse she came up with. Um, I don't think it had nothing to do with that, but you guys might disagree with me. Um, but that's my opinion of it. But in any case, you know, um, all the things that transpired, I got to talk about my girl Elswith. I've really come into liking her character for this season. Ever since season four started, they started this redemption arc for Elswith, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. She's definitely become top five for me this season she has squeezed into my top five because you know she, there's still a little bit of dislike for Uhtred there but she's coming to this kind of acceptance for the things that she has done and she could have done better and she's trying to correct those mistakes and there's nothing more pleasing to come to the point of accountability and try to change you get what I'm saying? When I see people doing that, it pleases the eye. It pleases my emotions It towards that person. If I see a person actively trying to change things about themselves, if if it is wrong things about themselves, you get what I'm saying? If you identify, even if you haven't told them, but you see those things, but you actively see them catch themselves trying to change it's good. It's good. I love a good redemption arc. And that's what's going on with Elswith right now. I'm loving her character that she's trying to change. Actually understanding things from actually doing the things that God requires of her, of you. She's the only one. <laughs> not saying the only one. But she's practically the only one that's like acting in the interest of how God expects you to act in life. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I got to give her a props. I have to. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Always doing what you're supposed to do, man, by hitting those like buttons and leaving comments. I appreciate you guys. I know you guys know already by now because I've said it multiple times that I'm recording this in the spare time. So we got two more episodes to go. I'll be all caught up with The Last Kingdom. So don't forget, by the time you see this episode, I've already watched the last two episodes so don't be afraid to leave spoilers you can talk about the whole show um it doesn't matter don't be afraid to leave spoilers or whatever i'm all caught up by the time you guys see this 
even though right now at this moment i have not watched the two last episodes but by the time you guys see this i will have already seen them so thank you guys so much appreciate you guys see you guys tomorrow for the finale see you guys i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much gratitude is never enough man that's why i say it so much see boy terabyte reacts peace